I will answer your guys' questions on this stream and this stream only because I have not been doing very well. It's been not the best. It has not been the best time. Believe it or not, our relationship was very, very real. Probably the most serious relationship I've ever been in. It's like the only person, the only guy I've been with that I was actually like, okay, I could see myself marrying this person. You know what? I wasn't... My whole thing was like, you know what? I'm going to be single. I'm not going to look for new guys. Like, I'm just going to do my thing, like focus on myself, really get into streaming. But then I saw his video today of him flirting on girls. And I was like, well, he's not doing that. So, and also he does live here, but he's not here right now. I don't know where the hell he, he is. He, he's been gone all day, but um, he, so you're coping Yes, I'm coping. Um, not gonna lie, I've cried twice today. I did cry before he dropped his video because I asked him, I asked him um, yesterday because I think they went out and filmed like the girl shit yesterday. And I asked him like, like, are you back to flirting with girls? Like, I just want to know. So like, I'm prepared for when the video drops. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I just wanted to be prepared to like, see him flirting with girls again and shit and he lied to me in my opinion he lied to me because he was like no um i didn't he said like a few things but basically he lied and said that he didn't and then i watched the video today and i was crying in the shower <laughs> what does it feel like not being able to keep a man that's i was gonna answer that with like a snarky comeback but it, it feels like shit <laughs> so why ask him to move in okay okay with the whole moving in situation i had been looking for houses for a while i found this house it's it's amazing it's a beautiful house it's a very big house and it's only me and riley living together riley's my assistant riley's like literally five three so if someone ever breaks in ain't no one saving us if it's just me and riley and Nick knew that I was looking for houses. Like Nick already knew, like while we were still together, like I kept telling him and I even like was sending him houses and stuff. And I don't know, I, 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 I got this house and I don't know. It's really hard to explain. I also like Nick, Nick's crew, like it's mostly like Alex and James. Those aren't strangers to me. Like those are, I would consider like my friends too. So they're living here for now. It's probably, I mean, it's definitely not going to be forever. Like you can't live with your ex forever. So we'll see how long they stay. Um, but I mean, even when we were dating, he was traveling like all the time and was only even home like a week out of the month. So is he paying rent with you? Yes, they are paying me rent. Why do they keep growing? Um, because I gained like 10 pounds. Why wouldn't y'all compromise? There was no compromising to be done. Like we had tried to work it out and work out a, a scenario where we could still be together and dating but also both feel happy and content and not held back from each other but it just wasn't working like there were certain things that I don't know in my opinion it's it's hard because like I could sit here and tell you guys my side of the story but let's be honest you guys don't care about my side of the story a lot of you don't because I am who I am. I am an ex corn star. So who gives a fuck about my opinion? <laughs> but um, I don't care about you. Thank you. Thank you for, for validating what I just said. <laughs> um, but basically, we just we just couldn't compromise and it sucked. And um, it's whatever. Wait, she doesn't like British people? What does that mean? 
Will you ever quit corn or O F or zero F? No, I will never quit zero F. I just won't. I won't. I think something else that I have to say is because I'm sure it's like maybe some of you guys saw that I went on Bradley Martin's podcast with Nick and we kind of like hashed out our relationship. I will very much admit I was not taking the conversation serious. I have a hard time taking things serious. Like I take things serious, but for me, when I'm uncomfortable, I laugh, I joke around. That's just like how I am. I think a lot of people are like that. And also I know Bradley Martin. Well, I know Nick super well, obviously like the, it felt like like a conversation with two friends and I was laughing and I wasn't taking it serious and I kind of have some regret because it made me look bad and I, I totally admit that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I forgot what I was even, where I was even going with that. Honestly, you still in California? Yes. I still live in Los Angeles. Um, relationship shouldn't be hard. That is very true. Did Bradley hit? No. <laughs> he looks like a saint, LMAO. Yeah, in my opinion, Nick has... Nick does it too... <sighs> Let me not get messy because he still does live here. Nick... Nick does a good job at seeming, looking, and making himself seem like a saint. Which he probably doesn't have to ha try that hard to do considering I am who I am. Believe it or not, guys, I'm not totally delusional. I do, I am aware of what comes with what I did. I am not totally delusional. Baby, I love you, but you have to go. Well, I feel like I get so much slack for not giving up, giving up my zero F career while I was with Nick, but it's like, we were only dating for seven months. I just, I, I'm not giving up anything for anyone at the start of a relationship, especially when you were okay with it when we started dating, I think that's like the biggest, that's my biggest argument against it. He knew what I was and who I was before he started dating me. So did Nick's appearance on Fresh and Fit play role into this breakup? Um, I kind of, I made a joke on the Bradley Martin podcast saying that I feel like he switched up after the Fresh and Fit podcast. I, I don't have no for certainty if it had an effect on our relationship. Maybe it planted a seed in his head, but it's not like he like completely switched up overnight or anything like that. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Like the, the issues we broke up over were, were issues that we were having for the past few months in our relationship. So it's not like our problems started after the fresh and fit. Where's Nick? I have no clue where he is. He doesn't tell me where he goes anymore. Do we think your relationship is something we should expect for relationships kind of similar to yours? See, that's hard to say because I, I think it's hard to say because I, yes, I did. I do zero F, but I did. I don't have the typical run of the mill zero F. I did crazy shit. There is crazy shit on mine. You guys know. So... I think that is an extra factor or component, whatever, that makes it a lot harder. Like, I know a lot of girls that have zero Fs, that have boyfriends, their boyfriends are chill about it, whatever. But you guys know what I was doing on mine. You guys know. So, I don't know. It's so hard because a lot of the girls... This I'm not speaking for all, but a lot of the girls that I know personally that did corn... They date men that did corn themselves or run a zero F with that similar content, or they just date guys that are like totally chill with it and fine with it. And they don't care if they get railed by other dudes. It's hard for me because I'm probably, I'm delusional, slightly delusional. I want a man that like, I don't know. I want a man that like, doesn't want like, I don't know. I don't want like a simpy man, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want a man that's like totally okay with me getting railed on the internet. Like, like current, like 
actively doing it. You know what I mean? Like I want my man to like, which is how Nick was, but he was just like starting to get more controlling about like everything, like even like zero F. I don't know. I sound so hyper, hyper. God, I think I just had like a stroke. How's the bean bag set? I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> You're so delusional. Get some cats. We are, um, we're working on it. Nah, bro. I can never live with myself if my girl was getting back shots by other dudes on the regular. That's just weird as fuck, bro. And <sighs> sorry, I'm reading something. Um, sorry. I was reading a text. No, I agree. I, if I'm in a relationship, I don't really want to be getting, I don't want to be getting railed by other dudes. And I wasn't while I was with Nick. I was not. I agree. I feel like everyone on the internet thinks I was like getting fucked while I was dating Nick. I was not. 